Hey everybody, this video is about doing your Kumihimo homework uh, for those of you who purchased a Kumihimo necklace kit. Um, I'll go through everything with you uh, that you need to do in advance of the class. Um, you're going to have in your kit, you'll have a bobbin that has 20 yards of cord you have a big eye needle, your seed beads, and eight bobbins that you need for this particular uh, part of the project. You're going to measure out four four yard lengths from your bobbin, okay? So that's the first thing I'm gonna do is measure one, two, three, four and cut that off okay all right so on you can do that four times but for the sake of uh, less confusion just do one four length uh, piece at a time so I've got my one length of four yards and my beading needle. The beading, the beading needle has a split all the way down the needle and I'm just going to insert the cord through that. Now on the opposite end of the four yards we're going to tie on a stop bead. So I'm just going to pick up one of my beads and then just double knot it so that it does not work its way loose while you're working on the project. Okay, so that's on the opposite end of this long cord. All right, so next up is deciding how long you want your necklace to be. However uh, long you want it to be, say you want a 22 inch necklace, you're going to load 22 inches of your seed beads on each of the four cords, okay? Now, in this case, we are just working on one color. We're doing the silver one in the demo. But if you bought a Fusion Kumihimo kit, that comes with four colors and you would put one color seed bead on each of the four cords, okay? So I'm gonna load. The easiest way I found to do this is put your beads on a bead mat or something like a dish towel that has very low nap so that your beads don't get stuck in there. And then I'm just gonna glide my needle over the pile of seed beads and then push them down. And I'm going to just keep doing that till I get my 22 inches of beads. Uh, I'm just picking 22. You could make a 18 or a 20 or 22 or 24 inch necklace. I don't think you're going to have uh, enough beads to probably do longer than a 24. Uh, but I'm not entirely certain because I haven't made one longer than that. But each tube of your seed beads has 23 grams of seed beads and they actually go a pretty long ways. So you see I'm just gliding over this pile and pushing them down. And periodically I will measure my length just to see where I'm at and when I reach the the desired length then um, I will tie off that cord with another stop bead on the opposite end and go to the next cord. Okay, so I'm not going to do the whole 22 inches of beads on this demo, but I just want you to get the idea, all right? So you just keep stringing your beads on just like this until you reach your desired length, okay? Now, I've already gotten one cord done with my 22 inches of beads.
Okay, that's right here. Put that over to the side. I've got my 22 inches of beads here. And now I need to add a stop bead to the opposite end where I took my needle off. So I'm just going to pick up one bead. I need to have my glasses on. Here we go. I see I frayed this end a little bit. Okay, just thread that bead through the end of the cord and tie a double knot on there. Okay, now the next thing that's important is this one cord is going to be turned into two cords. We cut four cords, but we're doubling them, so it makes eight cords. I know, that's probably confusing. All right, on my strand here, I have 22 inches of beads. So I'm going to divide this in half to 11 inches. So I'm going to take my yardstick and I'm going to measure where 11 inches is. And I'm just going to let the beads go down to the other end of the stop bead. So now I have two 11 inch segments of beads. Okay and my cord has been doubled up here. So right where I'm at the midpoint, I'm going to take uh, a Sharpie marker and I'm just going to color that, that loop a little bit just a little black mark there. I don't want a whole lot because that's gonna, that could show up in your work. So you don't want too much on there. But I'm also going to put a little piece of scotch tape on this point as well because I don't want the beads from one half to slide down to the other half before I'm done working uh, loading the bobbins. So I'm just going to put this here, but I'll be removing that in a little bit. Okay, so I have one half of the beads and the cord, and I'm going to take a bobbin. Now, as you're working with the kumihimo, as you're doing the weaving, you're going to keep needing to uh, release some of the cord and some of the beads. You have to wind this excess cord up because it would just be just too unmanageable to work on the, uh, on the loom with this, with all this extra string hanging around. So, uh, and this isn't a perfect uh, way to do it, but it's, um, it's doable. It's just maybe a little bit more hassle than you might want to do, but we're going to just put wind a, few, a little bit of the cord and then a few of the beads and then a little bit more of the cord and a few beads. And just do that until you have a manageable amount of cord to work with hanging from the loom. So we want to keep an eye on that midpoint and that's where the tape is right here. And actually I want a little more cord than that. So I'm going to put a little bit more 
beads in there and then flip that over. Okay, so this is how your bobbin is going to look on the one end. Here's your midpoint where the tape is. So now we're going to do this on the other end. And like I said, it may be confusing to you at first, but it will all kind of uh, figure out as you're going along. You just can't start off with an overabundance of cord because it's just, you just have a tangled mess in no time. And try to get about the same length for your second half here. There'll be a little bit of trial and error involved. Okay, so you have two of your eight needed cords right now. So just leave this set aside, have, have your black mark first and then a little piece of tape over that to keep the beads from, you know, falling into the next uh, line of beads so then then your count will be off so if you keep it like this um, you should be okay now the other thing you're going to need to do this with your other three chords okay so the next thing is you take your next chord do two more and then the third chord do two more and then the fourth chord do two more so you're going to have four sets of chords which work into eight bobbins and the other thing that you should have handy as you're setting up is to have a vase or some type of container that you can set uh, your kumihimo disc on and I'm going to rest these um, strands Let's see, I'll put my disc, disc there, and then I'm going to just hang these cords over. A tall, a tall container is really best, so you can just have these dangle free and not get tangled. So as you do your next set of two, you'll lay them, you know, next to those, and then you'll do your other two sets of two and do them the opposite way. That's not super, super important at this point. It's just getting everything prepared and then I will show you how to set this portion up when we do the demo. So your homework right now is just getting these uh, beads strung, on the four chords, into uh, all the chords, all the beads loaded and wound up on your eight bobbins. So if there's any questions with that, uh, let me know prior to the, uh, the demo date. So that way, uh, you know, we can all be on board and get started with the project. Thanks for watching. Do your homework. Bye.